now we will read about the mrsa what is mrsa and why it is so important that we are making a separate video on mrsa so mrsa is nothing but the methicillin resistant staphylococcus aureus and why it is important this is important because uh, and this mrsa is just a strain of the staphylococcus aureus which has become resistant to the methicillin antibiotic which is nothing but a anti uh, which uh, which is a, a beta lactam antibiotic okay so as uh, the staphylococcus aureus has become resistant to the methicillin it has become very tough to kill this mrsa strain of the staphylococcus aureus okay and that's why uh, uh, it is very important for us to discuss it separately and hence some questions are also asked separately from this mrsa topic as a short note or as a short answer questions so this mrsa is a strain of the our staph aureus which we have already discussed which is resistant to the methicillin antimicrobial what is the reason behind this mrsa generation so the reason behind is the make a gene sare fasad ki jad hai make a gene this make a gene which the staphylococcus aureus has got somehow from anywhere uh, is responsible for this mrsa strain is this is this gene is responsible for conversion of the staphylococcus aureus to the methicillin resistant staphylococcus aureus how is this conferring this resistant to the staphylococcus aureus how is this uh, gene providing this resistance so the mechanism behind the resistance is that normally what we see that on the uh, on the cell wall of the bacteria there is protein binding protein to which the uh, i mean sorry it is penicillin binding protein pbp so uh, on the cell wall of the bacteria there is pbp protein to which the penicillin antibiotic binds and prevents the cell wall synthesis thereby it kills the bacteria now what happens in the mrsa is that due to this make a gene that penicillin binding protein is changed to the pbp 2a state okay so pbp is changed to pbp 2a so now the penicillin antibiotics cannot bind to this pbp 2a protein because they uh, have binding site for the pbp but it is not pbp it has changed to pbp 2a so now they are unable to bind to the pbp 2a that's why they are unable to kill this bacteria now okay and this is a mechanism how how uh, uh, this uh, make a gene is providing resistant to the bacteria now talking about the uh, types of the mrsa so there are the mrsa can be classified into two types one is the community associated mrsa other one is the hospital associated mrsa the difference between this community associated and the hospital associated mrsa is that the make a gene subtype in the community associated mrsa are 4 5 and 6 while in hospital associated it is 1 2 and 3 make a gene subtypes present in the hospital associated mrsa in the community associated mrsa uh, the mrsa is more virulent and less resistant okay more virulence less resistance in the community associated mrsa and in the hospital associated mrsa there is less virulence more resistance how how will you remember this so in the hospitals you know there are multiple drugs okay so this due to this multiple drugs there will be more resistant and as there is more resistant there will be less virulence okay and just opposite to this is the community associated mrsa so by that you can simply remember the difference between the community associated mrsa and the hospital associated mrsa now what are the infections which are caused by the mrsa so for infection to remember the infections caused by mrsa we have read the infection caused by staphylococcus aureus the same infections are caused by the mrsa as well and for that you can remember the mnemonic of soft pins that is wo wo mnemonic yahan par bhi lag jayega aur usi mnemonic ke through you can remember the different infections which are caused by the mrsa now coming to the diagnosis of mrsa so for diagnosis of mrsa we can do the specimen collection we can collect the specimen according to the uh, lien present uh, or the lien caused by that bacteria then we can do the molecular methods pcr is very important as it can detect the make a gene we have seen that the make a gene is the gene responsible for this 
uh, resistance in the MR assay. That's why detecting the MR, the detecting this MEK A gene will detect the MR assay as well. Other than that, we can do the latex agglutination test, which detects the PBP2A protein, and thereby it can detect the MR assay as well. Then we have the antimicrobial susceptibility test. We can test the antibiotics which are effective against the MR assay, and we can give it to the uh, person which is infected with the MR assay. But uh, what is the treatment? The drug of choice in case of MRSA is vancomycin. Okay, but if it shows resistance to this vancomycin also, then we have to go according to the a AST report. If we are suspecting the infection with MRSA, then we will start the empirical treatment with vancomycin. But if this is also ineffective, then we will wait for the AST report and will treat the patient according to the antibiotics, according to the, uh, I mean, with the antibiotics according to the AST report. So if a question is asked on the MRSA, you have to write these all points which are the uh, MRS, uh, the reason behind the resistance, the mechanism <coughs> behind the resistance and the type of MRSA, the infections caused by MRSA, the diagnosis of MRSA and the treatment of the MRSA. This is all about the MRSA.